What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about everything stick and pokes. I'm going to be showing you how I used to do it, um, now that I have more knowledge, a more sanitary, safer way to do it, and then I'm also going to be showing y'all some that I have left which are horrifying and I can't believe I'm going to show y'all. And then I'm actually going to show y'all my mom who has a stick and poke that she got when she was super young. So I'd say that the first time I ever did stick and pokes, I was probably around 15 years old. Um, growing up, I wasn't allowed to have piercings at a young age. I wasn't allowed to have tattoos, obviously, at a young age. So I was a little bit mischievous and luckily I had an older sister who would help me out with some top secret missions. So I still of course have a huge appreciation for um, stick and pokes or hand pokes. She lost her tattoo going, hold on. As y'all know, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, so that's not something that I personally could physically sit there and do for hours these days, and that's why I didn't go down that path and I used an actual machine. How I used to do it was I would actually use a sewing needle. So I would have a regular pencil like this. I don't have a sewing needle today to show y'all, and plus this pencil is the only one I could find. It doesn't even have an eraser. So what I would do is I would take the sewing needle and I would push the back of it in the eraser, and then... My sister would take me to Michael's and I would get Indian ink, um, which they sell there, and I would just sit there and go at it. Now, the Indian ink, you know, coming from a place years later, it didn't even come out black, and, you know, obviously, I didn't know anything about, like, depth or anything like that, so the ink spread under the skin and it just left for a really messy, like, almost greenish color just really not the most safe or sanitary or anything like that um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show y'all a safer way um a more cleanly way to go about it and hopefully this will help some of y'all out these are the same needles that i use for my machine when tattooing you can get a pack of these for super, super cheap on Amazon, and these are actually what you can use to do um, hand pokes as well. So I have a couple of them here. Now there are a couple different things you can do to make it more comfortable for you to hold it. Um, I personally, you know, if I were to be doing stick and pokes these days, I would just kind of leave it as is and just use this needle. This is a grip that comes with um, the pen style guns like this that you wrap it around to make it more comfortable. Um, you can definitely use this stuff for stick and pokes as well. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. This is just the ink that I have on hand right now. The brand is kind of washed off. Um, I just happen to have this in front of me at my desk. So actually it says right here, tattoo ink, black ink, um, vegan. So you can just order any ink off of Amazon Again, I don't recommend at all using Indian ink because of the fact that it doesn't even come out the right color. When I was that age, there just point blank wasn't anything that could stop me from doing it. So <laughs> I know some of y'all are hard-headed like me, so I mean that is an option, but I fully recommend ordering it off of Amazon. Um, of course, I also have my little cups, being somebody who does tattoos. Again, back then, water bottle lid, anything like that I was using. And you know, back then I was, you know, I'd have a lighter and I would quote unquote <laughs> clean the needle in between uses, but as somebody who, you know, does this stuff for real, I just don't feel comfortable recommending y'all doing that. So yeah. So I've got gloves. Of course, I'm going to want y'all to use some gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on. I'm not going to do a full stick and book tattoo but I am going to go over one um, tattoo that's rather light for y'all so that y'all can get the gist of what I am saying go ahead and open up my tattoo needle like this as an option you know you could always use one of these I can't even think of what these are called and you could tape it to here just to give yourself a little bit more of a grip of something to hold on to um, you could still get a regular pencil like this one that's not sharpened and you could tape it like this 
or you could go ahead and grab some of your grip tape and I might just actually do that for you for y'all now so hold on So now this is what we're left with. Um, it's easier to hold on to, have a better grip. And actually I'm gonna take this one glove off because what, we're, what I'm gonna be showing y'all just real quick, this tattoo I have on my hand um, is kind of lighter in color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple pokes on this. Before I started this video, I went ahead and cleaned, the, cleaned this um, tattoo so that everything's clean right there and I'm just gonna do a couple pokes y'all can kind of see the darker part there where I just did it and another thing with sticking pokes is you're gonna have to go over it multiple multiple times as you're going over it you know at first the dots won't align but then as you keep going over it it'll start to look like more of a consistent line um, Again, now being somebody who has a machine, I just, I'm too, I don't even have the patience for that, honestly. Um, but again, it's something that I have a huge appreciation for. I am going to go ahead and enter a picture here of a tattoo that I have that is a stick and poke that is probably now, goodness gracious. I'm 25 it probably is like 10 years old and the ink has just spread like I said the colors not really that dark I can't even believe I'm gonna show y'all but I'm gonna go ahead and enter it right here <laughs> so yeah I feel like this has become more of like an anti stick and poke thing than anything but <laughs> um, no it's been requested a lot so I figured I'll just put this video out and I also have my mom who has a stick and poke so I'm just gonna really quick grab her and let her show y'all her um, stick and poke that she's had now for many, many years. I just called my mom in. Um, she has a stick and poke that is now, how many years? Like probably like, like before AC, right? Probably 17. Caveman times. Wow, you're a, <laughs> you're mean. Okay, let me see your finger. Okay, so. Okay, so this is a stick and poke that she got. Um, I believe I remember you saying your friend did it. Like It was in a basement with the needle and thread and Indian ink. Yep, okay, so took that's what long, I was actually- It took over an hour. You can still see some of the lines. So that's what I was just, um, real quick. So this is like the newer way that I would show them to do it. Um, I didn't feel comfortable showing them how I used to do it when I was like 15 hiding from you. Mm -hmm. So I would have done, it was an eraser. I would have stuck, um, a sewing needle in there and then went to Michael's got Indian ink. Is that what y'all were doing back then? No, it was a little bit more ratchet than that. But yes, I was the one that would clean your room and I would find that stuff and I wouldn't know what the crap it was for. Well, you heard it here first. Yeah. So, with that being said, like I said, I feel like this video was more of me non-recommending it. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've watched this far, please like, please subscribe. I have um, a few other videos that I'll link right here of me actually tattooing myself. And yeah.